Hello everyone! This is Running On Empty Food Review! Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Always a pleasure to be here. Very exciting release came out today. McDonald's has once again introduced a brand new celebrity meal deal. These are always interesting to see, and uh, obviously over the years, uh, since 2020, when McDonald's has started these celebrity meals, uh, some of them have been hits, a few of them have been misses, and some of them I think have more to them than others. A couple days ago, McDonald's announced that they were going to be releasing the Kerwin Frost Box. And when I heard that, I wasn't sure what there was going to be to all of this. Uh, but over the, fa over the past few days, the details have emerged. So McDonald's, they've teamed up once again with Kerwin Frost. And you might be wondering who that is. He kind of does everything. He's a world famous DJ. He is a talk show host. He's a comedian. And now he is a designer. And he's teaming up with McDonald's likewise for their Kerwin Frost box. And here's what it is. Obviously you can see there's a lot of branding to this, so I'm going to show you all the details. For the price of $14, inside the box, a lot of people will describe this as like an adult Happy Meal, you can get a Big Mac or a 10-piece Chicken McNuggets, a medium fries, a medium drink, it comes in this specially designed packaging, and best of all, are you ready? I know I'm ready, so let's just go for it. It comes with a toy. That's right, you could get your own toy with this. And it's not just any toy, as a matter of fact. They are bringing back the McNugget Buddies. And uh, this is a special collaboration with Kerwin Frost, uh, so I suppose he has a uh, uh, really a, an integral role in the design of the new McNugget Buddies. You can get a random one. I believe there are six to choose from, so you will get one at random. Uh, the, the six McNugget Buddies to choose from are Kerwin Frost himself, well, a, uh, an effigy, I suppose, a, a representation. It's not, he's not actually inside the box. There might be a, a plastic figurine that sort of looks like him. You could get Don Bernice, Uptown Mo, that's everyone's favorite. You've got Wafutu, you could get Brick, or you can get Darla. So we will see which one is in here. So again, it's like an adult Happy Meal. I got the meal with the Chicken McNuggets. What I'm going to essentially be doing in this review is I mostly just want to assess the quality, not just of the food, but also as a meal deal. And really, I want to assess the branding and the toy, uh, because yes, I'll try out the food, but in the end, it's going to be some nuggets and some fries, which I've reviewed so many times before. So really, I just want to assess, is this worth it? What comes with it, etc. So first, taking a look at the branding here, uh, you can see that it's a, a very themed box. You can see on the side. These are some of the McNugget buddies on this side. It says, Welcome to Frost Way, right there. On the top, it says McDonald's McNugget Buddies. The portrayal of Kerwin Frost is right there. He's got the top hat on. Going around to the side, let's see what this says. Mix and match. And again up there, the McNugget Buddies. Oh, this one has something to say. What, what is this one saying? Yo, buddy, check it out. We all swapped outfits. Can you tell who's who? Well, can you? I think that one is Uptown Mo. I think. Right there. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, on this side, this is, again, another sort of... There they all are. 
You can see some footwear going as well, right there, little eyes. Representation. There is Kerwin Frost. He's kind of, he's holding it out like that. There he is. And then, on this side, there's a little McNugget in everyone. There they all are. They're looking at you. To give credit where credit is due, as far as just uh, from an aesthetic point of view, uh, I will most definitely say they went all out with the packaging, and uh, whether or not the contents are any good, uh, very, very good with the branding so far, in my opinion. Now, opening it up, let's see, is there... No, there's nothing on the bottom. This is what the interior looks like. Regular fries, no special branding there, just your regular French fries, of which a few fell into the box. Regular chicken McNuggets. You could get two sauces if you get the nuggets. I got these two, sweet and sour and tangy barbecue. Again, these are all just basic items with basic packaging. Uh, but then, here is another thing to show. Uh, the toy comes in its own box, and I suppose there is a bit of a mystery as far as which one it is. I haven't opened it yet. You could see the sticker, but again, the McNugget Buddies box. I will be opening this so we could see what toy is in here. What if one day you woke up as a McNugget? I would be having an existential crisis if that happened. If I woke up as a McNugget, I mean, it depends. Would I have the ability to move about, or would I just be like a McNugget, just frozen in place? Because if I was, then I'd probably be pretty miserable, but if I were like a, like one of those sentient McNuggets, then, then that's a different story. Then I could probably adapt to my new environment, but if I was just a regular McNugget, it uh, would be a different story. Very good with the branding. It's nice to see. So, what I will be doing now, real quick, I'm going to do a fast assessment. Oh, and I should also add, here's the drink. I got Dr. Pepper. Comes in just a standard receptacle. So very quickly, going to just power through this food, and uh, then we'll look at the toy, I think, which is what we're looking forward to. So I'm going to try this out real quick. Let's try out the McNuggets. There they are. If I had no say whatsoever, I would want to be one of these McNuggets, because that way at least you could sort of maybe have a fighting chance to propel yourself around. All right, I'm going to try it out real quick, going in. Standard chicken McNugget. Little crisp to it. Still tender though. Salty, but not bad. Tangy barbecue sauce, as always, is a fine accompaniment for the nugget. Always enjoyable. And now I'll try it out real quick with the sweet and sour sauce. I have done numerous reviews of the nuggets and fries in the past, so I encourage you, if you'd like a more detailed assessment, to check those out. Totally acceptable quality as far as the McNuggets go. Um, nothing, nothing different, nothing unusual about them. Totally fine, exactly what you would expect from McDonald's. Try out the fries real quick. Salty, greasy, 
but they still have their firmness as well. And exactly what you would be expecting as far as the quality of uh, McDonald's fries to be. So as far as everything is, con is concerned with the quality of the food, uh, totally fine, very standard, exactly what you would expect from McDonald's, uh, as would be the case in any meal. Let's wash it down with some of this drink. Standard Dr. Pepper. Sweet, moderate carbonation. Typical soda, but refreshing. So, food-wise, everything is up to par. Now, let me get the plate out of the way. Let's do a little unboxing and see what toy comes with this. Again, as you can see, the uh, sticker is not broken yet. So now it's time to break the seal. See, this is why I keep my nails long like that, so I can break the seal. And here we go. See, now the seal has been broken. And let's unravel this. <laughs> Isn't that something? Comes in its own little wrapping. What is this? Oh, a QSL card. Isn't that something? Oh, yes! I got brick right there. So I guess it comes with a little card to identify which one you got. You can take a look at that right there. And now, of course, the great reveal. Let's see how this actually looks. There he is. I don't know if... Oh, I see. Look, he's got the little... See, I was thinking, what on earth sort of... of uh, headdress is that? But I think it's supposed to be like a little visor or something over his eyes right there. Yeah, Brick. Brick is, uh, is styling, as they say. Look at the footwear right there. That's high fashion. Plastic. Moving parts as far as this goes. Blue color. And then you could, I guess, remove that. And you can look at the beautiful bald head right there. I guess you could actually do that. Oh, look, that's, that's something. You could actually remove these. like an egg. There you go. You could hear that it's plastic. And then again, you can go and you can... So if you want to be like that and uh, disgrace the poor Rick, then you can just do that. Or you can make a complete ensemble like that. If you want to go the controversial route, I guess you could also do this make like a fashion statement, but I have a feeling Brick would prefer the full ensemble based on my extensive research of uh, all the character development. There you have it. Plastic again, interesting colors. And uh, as you saw, you could easily assemble it and disassemble it. You could do whatever you'd like. have Rick right there. I guess you would like have him waddle around like that, you know, and do that. You could jiggle it around as such. And then again, you can 
one, two, three pieces. Once again, comes with the card. So, the Kerwin Frost box. Here's my assessment of it. I mostly wanted to just show what, what's in it. And uh, based on the price, it's $14, slightly higher price than I wish, uh, but admittedly, I I'll give them credit for this. The branding on this is excellent, in my opinion. I would be willing to say, as far as the particular branding is concerned, this is probably the best uh, celebrity meal I've seen, uh, as far as both the, uh, the, the design and art on the box, uh, as well as everything that went into the toy. It might be a plastic figurine, but it comes with its special box. It even comes with a little card. Uh, it has multiple components there, too. I would say this. If you're getting this just as a meal, if you couldn't care less about the branding or the toy or any of that, I wouldn't bother with it. You know, just get a regular meal, get a regular, um, you know, Big Mac or Chicken McNugget meal. But if you are interested in collectibles, be that if you want to collect the toy or if you want the box, uh, then I would strongly encourage you to get this. So again, my recommendation, if you just want the food, don't bother with it. But if you would like these collectibles and you're interested in the designs or the toy particularly and you want to collect them, I would say this is definitely something to get uh, because the design is very eye-catching. There's a lot to it and uh, the quality impressed me in that regard. So, very impressed with the amount of effort they put into this. Uh, they obviously put a lot of work into the branding, the design. That impresses me. And uh, as a result, it might be a basic meal as far as the food is concerned, but conceptually, I admire their creativity. I think they did a good job in that regard. Uh, so therefore, out of 10, given the amount of effort I feel that they actually put into this one, I am going to give the Kerwin Frost Box from McDonald's an 8.5 out of 10. Maybe it's not for everyone, but I will say that if you're interested in collectibles, uh, go out and get it. And that's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm your host, the report of the week.